Hi there. I'm Dave Gill. Yes, the Dave Gill. <laughs> I'm rich. You may remember me from such films as Your Body and Me, a hands on approach to special changes, and when deoxyribonucleic acid attacks. Today on Body Broke, we'll be guiding you through the wonderful world of cystic fibrosis. So sit back and prepare to be astounded. <laughs> Writing, I worried, no live, see me. Ha <laughs> ha! You're not a woman! Ah! I'm awake! What's this? Oh! Ah, here's another one! I'm a mother of four! And I'm worried that my children might have cystic fibrosis. We're Spanish. <laughs> and I think they may have caught it from their father. What are the symptoms? Is it contagious? Is it a serious disease? Is treatment expensive or should I resort to adoption? Thank you. And you're a very handsome man. And I want to have sex with you. Sincerely. Jack. Well, Jacqueline, you're what we call a visible minority. But I'll answer your question anyway. I wink with this eye. Luckily for you, we have the leading authority on cystic fibrosis here in our studio. Professor Dave Gill. Well, Jackie, cystic fibrosis is a autosomal recessive disorder, meaning it's not contagious, it's hereditary. Meaning they could have got it from the father, they could have got it from you. Technically, they got it from both of you. Who's pointing the finger now? <laughs> Inside our body, there are millions and thousands of little pieces called cells, if you can believe a crazy story like that. <laughs> Science. You hear crazy words all the time, like organs and tissues and blood loss, but what do they really mean? It's like one of those really annoying people that come up to you and they start telling you the so-called fact. Did you know that skin is the largest human organ? Do you even know what an organ is? Well... Ah, it's the worst! Okay. Well, we know the body's made of cells. So what? Cells aren't just, just this one thing called cells. They're like people in an office building. We don't just have some random people come in and do whatever they want and expect to get the job done. There's groupings and order and discipline and spankings involved. There are many different kinds of cells in the human body. A group of the same type of cells is called a tissue. A group of tissue is called an organ. And different tissues can comprise the same organ. And as we know, there are many organs in this human body. <laughs> and just think, of how many cells actually comprise that human body then. For example, the pancreas is made of different tissues. Each of these tissues is made of specialized cells, such as the islet cell, which create insulin hormones. In the healthy human body, all of our organs 
tissues and cells work in unison to help us perform our life functions. And when something goes wrong, How do these cells know how to function? Well, they follow orders from something we in science call DNA. Is that, is that right? That's like an acronym. You may have heard of it from CSI. DNA is made of little guys called nucleotides. And nucleotides, the little guys, are the constituents of chromosomes. These chromosomes are responsible for each and every trait of a person. They're responsible for my sexy, your Spanish, everything in between. There are 23 pairs of chromosomes that comprise the human genome. 22 of these pairs, autosomes. The last pair, my favorite pair, the sex chromosomes. I love those guys. Ha <laughs> ha! Bounce you go wow wow. You see, Sally, there are two kinds of genes. One recessive, one dominant. These genes are donated by our parents, leaving us with a set of two genes for every one trait. To have a ge recessive genetic disorder, it's required that you have two recessive genes. One recessive gene donated from each parent for that trait. Each pair of chromosomes has either a recessive or dominant gene. In the presence of a dominant gene, a recessive gene will not present any physical manifestations. Or in science babble, we call these physical manifestations of genes phenotypes. BAM! I nailed that one! responsible for CF is found in the long arm of the seventh chromosomes or should I say isn't found like people chromosomes can be different some differences are bad some may say the human race survives through genetic diversity these variations in chromosomes are what the pale-faced, four-eyed, science-wielding men in scary white coats like to call alleles. In some chromosomes, these alleles are not beneficial. They're just bad. Like poor people. I'm talking to you, Susie.